So there's really not much else to do now to beat the game other than finish gathering up all the collector's cards. And in order to do that, you have to beat three mini-games, five levels each. One of these was riding on Buckbeak, and you may recall getting a card from doing that the first time around, so... I have 14 more cards to get out of a total of 15. Also, I'm gonna try to explore any remaining areas that I haven't looked at yet. Such as the central area's pool of water. That must be freaky to jump on a Spongify tile only to immediately fly backwards instead of forwards. Although I guess if it's set to send you along one flight trajectory, then it all depends on which direction you approach it from. Fuck off, this is mine now. Ron, do you want me to land on your head so hard that your spine gets pushed out your asshole? I'd forgotten what purpose these Spongify tiles in the corner of this courtyard are for. And I still don't remember. They're just sending me in a circle while Ron and Hermione chase after me. Let's see what this... Can I get anything from her? Alright, fuck you then. I guess these suits of armor have had enough of my bullshit. What a shame. You can't repeatedly destroy the pumpkins, either. I get that they don't want to make it too easy to mine pumpkin pasties and other items, but then why have them grow back? And I can't even go over that part of the hill. Fuck. I guess I'll take care of the pixies first. Pixies! Oh, this volume icon flashing now. I was still figuring shit out when I was starting recording, and I thought it sounded too loud and I accidentally muted the sound through my headphones. I figured it would mess up the recording, but nothing happened to the sound in the video file that was saved, which is weird, but nice. And how did I accidentally mute it through my headphones while playing this live? Because I tried to use the volume control key on the keyboard, and it's one of those shitty things where- God! Damn it, Ron! Fucking do what you're supposed to do! Anyways, it's one of those shitty things where you press that volume button a couple of times and nothing seems to happen, so you just hammer the key repeatedly until suddenly, all at once, it either plunges into total silence or you blow out your eardrums. I hate that shit. It's just unresponsive sometimes. I guess I know now that I don't have to worry about MSI Afterburner in that respect. It will look out for you and your fuck-ups. That prefect said we'd win all five cards in a set if we could drive all the pixies away for good. This will probably be more monotonous to watch than it was to actually play this part of the game, so... Just hang in there, I guess. God damn it, I got hit again. At least this pixie minigame is over the quickest. At least I think it takes less time to complete this challenge than the other ones, but... They get more difficult with each higher level, so we'll probably still get pixie jizz in all of our hair a few times before it's finally over. At least we still have access to chocolate frogs. For this kind of challenge, I'm not at all bothered by the fact that they give you one after each round, but... I'm still not really sure if two is necessary or not. Maybe it is if all three characters lose more than half of their health bar, but I just honestly don't know. I really should have done some testing where I try to edge as close as I can to dying before picking up one chocolate frog and see how far that gets me. How is it that Hermione, a significantly better student than these two, is getting hurt the most? I mean, Harry's under my own control, so that's not really a proper comparison to make against a computer-controlled ally, but... Ron! Well, okay, never mind, he's slowly losing it. Thanks for the self-esteem boost, Hermione. I know we're not as skilled as you, despite the fact that you got hit the most and I probably cast more spells than either of you individually, but the thought is nice.
Don't hide back there, you fuck. You know what I originally intended to do, though, after I'd recorded all this stuff? I had this single video file that was nearly 36 minutes long that was originally just going to be titled Mini Games, but I ended up splitting that into four shorter episodes. Now, how did I split up a video where I'm playing three mini games into four videos? Well, in between two of the minigames, I ended up rediscovering a thing out in part of the courtyard area that sort of took me a few minutes to figure out, so I was like, yeah, that works. The game keeps freezing like that for a second because it saves every time you complete a round, in case you were wondering. It's useful, of course, why should you have to play the levels all over again if... You know, the power goes out at your house before you get finished. I mean, all you have to really do is not stand still and you'll pretty much get by unhurt, but Ron and Hermione mostly just stand in place alongside you, so they need the chocolate frogs more than you do. Wait, they don't have to stand in place and keep getting hit. Since they'll always follow me around wherever I go, all I have to do is circle the well and they'll be moving targets instead of stationary ones. Why the fuck didn't I figure this out earlier? Doesn't do me much good either, since I'm in the middle of my last fight with the pixies here. Of course, Hermione still found a way to get hit, although I guess I stopped moving and she can't go anywhere on her own, so... That's my fault, but how many of these fuckers live in this well anyways? And isn't it great how we're tasked with eradicating these things the same year that we begin a course called Care of Magical Creatures? And on top of that, our friend Haggard is teaching it this term. What would he think? I suppose he doesn't have to find out, though. We did it! That's right. Fly away and good riddance. That was fantastic! But why did the well collapse? It's not like we cast anything destructive at the structure itself, and... Really? Four frogs? Two is probably sufficient for any amount of health that was lost between three people. Alright, and speaking of Care of Magical Creatures class, that's where I'm headed next. But I only need to ride Buckbeak four more times instead of five. <laughs>